Hey everybody, Laster Outrider here, and we're bringing you a celebrated new series of Legion of the Damned fluff. I know people want that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't finish it from the last time I was reading the Codex. So now we're gonna go back to what they call, basically, I believe it's an Inquisition um, report on who the Legion of the Dam are and their theory to the High Lords of Terra. Um, and after that, we're going to go on with a timeline which will chronicle all known appearances of the Legion of the Dam. So this will probably be a two or three, four part series. And we're going to get started on it right now with Martyrs from Beyond Death. Quadramistra's thesis of perpetual martyrdom, an exhaustive report commissioned by the High Lords of Terra themselves, paints a compelling picture of what might have become of the Legion. Its conclusion states that the Legionnaires are still Campos Mentis but that they are deliberately quarantining themselves from the rest of the Imperium's servants. Quadrimistra believes that the Legion is a lost strike force of space marines who have somehow blended with the stuff of the warp, contracting a kind of metaphysical contagion. They fear this malady could spread to innocent souls should they remain in proximity for too long and will do nothing and will do anything to prevent this. Knowing that this is their affliction will eventually claim their body. The legionnaires seek to punish the enemies of mankind as best they can whilst they still have the chance. Though the warp contagion is said to bestow all manner of strange supernatural abilities upon those that bear its curse, it is ultimately fatal. Worse still, being spiritual in nature, the contagion's effects do not end with death. A soul that dies with such a taint in his soul is damned indeed, for though they are claimed by the fickle tides of the warp, they can be reborn after a certain period of time. Much as a banished demon can return to the service of its masters after its purgatory is complete. Now this is important because if you go watch my video on the theory of who the Legion of the Damned is, and I say that it's actually the uh, spirits of the Thousand Sons that were released from their armor, that the rubric basically uh, protects them from chaos corruption, but uh, the, the, the flesh change basically binds them to the warp, and this is how they keep coming back. At least, go, go watch that video. But anyways, let's keep going. The unusual but startling incidences of Legionnaires entering a flamed wreath berserker state are perhaps best explained by the warp contagion theory. Quadramistra calls this state pyromortis. He believes a legionnaire can enter a pyromortic state as the curse enters its final stages, burning his essence in one grand inferno before the damned individual is snuffed out altogether. Intense experience or exertion can accelerate the contagion's effects, bringing incidences of pyromortis into being prematurely. This quadrimista links to his martyrdom theory. For only those with true steel in their souls would risk such a horrendous fate in order to save the lives of faithful men and women of the Imperium. The arch cardinals of the ecclesiarchy have been known to compare these dramatic acts to the self-immolation of Saint Delametis, whose final act was to kill the black deacon Numus in a fiery embrace. Circumspect as ever, 
The Adeptus Ministorum draws no concrete ties between itself and the Legion in case the rogue element's more destructive actions are laid at their door as well. <laughs> and then we will go on to part two. Until then, bye.